It's the first thing I think about in the morning and the last thing I think about before I go to bed. And there's a real kind of like underground, underground grassroots kind of thing. I think it's something that every woman can it's do. It's like a carnival ride. It's something that every woman has in them. It's an amazing feeling. feeling. It gives you a certain kind of freedom, freedom that not everybody gets a chance to you have. You get out there and you're just a different person. Different person. Okay, the first thing you need to know is this is not your parents' roller derby. Get up, hello! Roller derby was very different. It was basically a WWE kind of thing. Um, it was planned plays. It was mostly fake. It's just funny to me that people used to buy that, I guess. I guess people still buy fake wrestling. <laughs> I've been following roller derby and writing about it for the past two years. And whether it's the outfits or the alter egos, the biggest question I always get is, who are these girls? You're listening to 89.3 The Current from Minnesota Public Radio. I'm a radio DJ. I'm a spacesuit test engineer at NASA Johnson Space Center. This is one of the waste modes that you can get. I'm a business development analyst. Parts and service supervisor. Certified massage therapist. I am a mother to five beautiful girls. Love you. Have a good day. I'm a full-time student, I'm an administrative assistant, and I deliver pizzas for a living. <laughs> Three dollars, man, that's the money shot right there. Three bucks. If there's one thing that you can not change in your life, it's what your parents named you. So if you make a name for yourself, you know, my name is Honey Homicide. I have to live up to being sweet and killing people. Day after a game, you can't put Homicide back in. She comes out and like someone's trying to give you at work, and you're just like, nope, not today. Roller derby as a sport is pretty simple. The jammer is the person who makes the points and they're the sprinter. She gets points for passing, a one point for each person she passes on the opposing team. So there's gonna be four people trying to kill her, four people trying to help her. And that's it. Come on, come on, the jammer! It takes a lot of energy because you're trying to get through the pack and um, dodging people and trying not to get hit. Um, I feel like Frogger, you know, kind of got not to get hit by all the cars as you're going through the pack. You're not supposed to grab people with your hands. You can't straight arm anybody. You're not supposed to hit above the neck. You're not really supposed to hit below the knees. People will just grab on you like this or they'll grab you by the arm. The modern day roller rebirth happened about 2001. It was an all-female grassroots revival in Austin, Texas that basically spawned a global phenomenon. Worldwide, there are close to 300 amateur roller derby leagues, and in the U.S. alone, there are well over 200 all-female leagues. What I like about roller derby is I get to come in and look cute and be a badass. It keeps me athletic. It makes me feel okay with being 5'11 and 200 pounds. You don't always get the opportunity to have the Clark Kent Superman persona. I can go and be a centered, relaxed person, and then after I get off work, come here and be a hard hitter. Jill might not, you know, push someone over or drive an opponent's head into the ground, but Savage Animal has no mercy. For me, being a mom, I'm, I'm at home a lot, and then it's for me, it's my kind of getaway. My daughters have a sign that says, my mom is a roller derby diva. One of them says, uh, my mom's gonna kick your mom's butt. <laughs> From penalty pillow fights to halftime bands, a lot of leagues add their own family-friendly entertainment. But the actual competition is far from stage. I mean, if you're a woman and you think, oh, that's easy, you know, it's all fake, come in and skate and you'll be on your ass in three seconds. We've had a couple of broken fingers, um, a broken nose. Got cut open, a torn uh, rotator cuff. I broke my pinky finger and I bit through my lip one time. You can knock a girl over and she can crack her head on the cement and she's not gonna be mad at you. It's fun. Hitting your friends is fun. There are other women who are like, oh, I'll never hit anybody. Why? I'm totally missing out. You kind of have to get over the whole, be nice and play nice and don't hurt anybody because you really are, that's what you're trying to do. It's part of the sport. What the hell? When guys watch guys fight, they're like, yeah, I hit him. When guys watch girls fight, they're like, oh my god, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. When you go into the game, you're, you're friends, but you forget about kind of the friendship, you know? I want her to be scared of Savage Animal. But at the after party, when we're kind of out of our costumes, you know, we're going to clink beers 
and say great game. I had two female friends in my life before I started roller derby, two. Now I have 80. That's a big deal. It's also a big deal to businesswomen, mothers, DJs, spacesuit engineers, massage therapists, or newspaper reporters. Where else could I have the name? Where else could I have the name Miss Print? Miss Print is more a little more showy, a little more unafraid, courageous than than Lauren is. I think all of the girls are their alter ego. It's who they are, it's who they want to be. So why not put it in your other life and be the confident, strong individual you want to be? I can't tell you how many times I'm in a business meeting, I have no business speaking up about something, you know? It's not my role, I'm not a manager, and I do it anyways because I know what I'm talking about and I have that confidence to do that. And I know it's because, well, roller derby. <laughs> Certain people go to church and they do things like that. And I don't really go to church, but I, I have roller derby instead. I think the thing that really cinches it for me is that you get to see women being beautiful and sexy, but you never forget that they could probably kick your ass. <laughs>